アスタいや、皆さんお揃いで。何<笑><笑><笑> <laughs> Hey, we'll shut the fuck up and suck this big thing. What's up everyone? Welcome back to yet another Black Clover video. However, it's not your typical review or discussion. But in fact, we'll be delving on the idea of Asta and Mimosa, a potential love affair. What? What the fuck? <laughs> yes guys, all you Asta and Noel shippers, I'm sorry, Asta's having an affair. Anyways, we pre-warned you guys in our Asta and Noel video that we would be uncovering probable ships in the Black Clover series. So we decided to crack away on Mimosa's affection for Asta. We learned through the many years that anime and manga really is unpredictable. I learned that the hard way when Kishimoto himself pulled a 180 and developed the relationship between Naruto and Hinata. Till this day, Naruto and Sakura shippers are still baffled, but it did work out at the end. So by unraveling Asta and Mimosa's true intentions, it could lead us in a whole new direction whether Yuki Tobata will follow the same footsteps as Kishimoto and pair Asta with Noel's cousin Mimosa. Without further ado, let's go balls deep! In Asta and Mimosa's impending relationship, let's cue the intro. As we always do with all our love videos, we'll be kicking this off by deciphering Asta and Mimosa's first meeting in the Black Clover series. As first impressions are always important, for example when Yami met Asta for the first time, it was nothing but a rotation for the Black Bolt's captain, whilst further down the line to most recent chapters both characters now have a deepened bond. I'm not trying to jump to conclusions but the same could happen with Asta and Mimosa. Well with Black Clover getting into some enticing action at the beginning of the series, the assignment was to uncover a dungeon on the border of the Clover Kingdom and the Diamond Kingdom. As both Black Bull members and Golden Dawn members set off, they coincidentally clash upon their arrival. This is the first time Asta and Mimosa actually met face to face. Noelle being paired off with Asta was also the gateway for Mimosa's introduction to Asta, as Mimosa's respect for Noelle is always at a high, regardless of the criticism Noelle faces towards her own family, sort of like how Asta and Yuno are with each other. In chapter 12, The Reunion, Mimosa introduces herself to Asta but she's definitely a free spirit, a person who speaks before they think as she blatantly cast out Noelle without even realising. You could say she shares some similarity with Asta in a way. Moving on, Yuki Tabata goes more in debt with Noelle's past with Mimosa as they share a strong connection with each other. At this point, Noelle is injured from the invasion by the Diamond Kingdom Knights. As Mimosa is trying her best to heal Noelle, they are looked down upon by Mar our very first proper antagonist of the series. And in chapter 19 was the first instance where Mimosa witnesses the true manliness of Asta as she's in a dire situation coming up against Mars. But you guys should know by now, your boy Asta will always come to save the day, which he does. Even when there is no hope at all, Asta somehow manages to prevail even if it just by an inch. The battle ended with Asta being in critical condition and Mars managing to make the great escape. Chapter 21, Mimosa has no other choice but to attempt to heal Asta while the dungeon is falling into pieces. Mimosa's heroic ability and the willpower of the other Clover Kingdom Knights allows them to somewhat survive the carnage left by Mars. The very first time Mimosa laid eyes on Asta in a romantic way didn't come far too long after the dungeon mishap. Yuki Tobata was definitely scheming something with the dungeon invasion. His foresight for creating a love triangle between Asta, Noelle and Mimosa couldn't have come at a better time than when they first met each other. For Mimosa it was love at first sight. With Noelle, well, with her sundere personality, it took her even longer to become fond with Asta and finally realising her feelings for him. Noelle Noelle's doubted feelings was overshadowed by Mimosa's immediate response to the liking of Asta. I guess you can say that Mimosa was the first female in the Black Clover series to actually like Asta in a romantic perspective. Chapter 22 was the breaking point for Mimosa as Yuki Tobata blatantly exposed her feelings towards Asta as the legendary blush in manga can never be overlooked. This setting took place exactly a week after the dungeon incident whilst Asta and Noelle was invited to the palace by the wizard king. Asta then running into the Golden Dawn members with Mimosa also present, her initial response to Asta's flattering her for her healing magic was your typical shoju reply by simply running away. Oh my no 
魔法のおかげだよありがとうなミモザうん<笑>なんで逃げたんだどうしたのよミモザうん何をうめいておるのだ Yes, guys, she just ran away. If that doesn't shout the shyness of Mimosa, I don't know what does. This is a typical Hinata scenario. Now, during the chapter, she confesses her feelings to Noel about Asta, and of course, just like us, Noel was completely shell shocked. There could have been at least two meanings behind Noel's reaction either that she was genuinely surprised, or that she also has undiscovered feelings for Asta, and seeing Mimosa's fondness of him gave Noel a better understanding of her own feelings. Now, in chapter 23, Mimosa shyly asks to join Asta while he's eating. However, she is then shunned upon for getting injured during that mission by Alekdora Sanla, a fellow Golden Dome member, and so is everyone else who had participated in, in recapturing that dungeon. All of the nobles decide to gang up on the rookies until, of course, Asta comes to their defense. This just increases Mimosa's respect for Asta. Now, jumping further ahead to the attack on the Clover Kingdom, Asta survives through the help of Fugolian Vermilion and the Wizard King. Where everyone else worried to death. In chapter 36, Mimosa just exposes her love for Asta like seriously, she doesn't give a damn. She's so pure hearted and just cared for the safety of her cousin and Asta. Mimosa clearly runs into the arms of Asta and gives him a massive hug. Well, at this point, everyone could tell Mimosa really liked Asta, beside Asta himself, obviously. You know, it's typical for Shonen protagonists to have a self defense mechanism against women, it seems, and I don't know why. Well, to be fair, most. Most guys in our world probably do the same. But moving forward, chapter 37 was the end of their back and forth saga for now, as Juno gives off a surprise attack on Asta whilst they're eating, but it was all fun and games. Mimosa then pledges to become strong enough to be able to fight alongside Asta, which is a touching farewell for the end of that arc. The next few interactions between Asta and Mimosa are kind of limited due to the fact that Yuki Tobata introduced this love triangle so early on in the series. The next special moment had come in the Royal Knight Selection Exam arc, which was a massive jump from when they last met. Mimosa's face in chapter 112 was typical after seeing Asta. It seemed as though she may have become a stronger magic knight, but hasn't been able to keep her composure around the person she likes. Her blushing reaction was fit for not seeing Asta. In quite some time, though. Asta, being the simpleton he is, asks why her face was red, and she replies with a stuttering, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, yes. <laughs> That's my impression of Mimosa, I'm sorry, guys. But you can practically hear her response in this chapter. That's how nervous she was. Asta's personality in this chapter mirrored a young Naruto, especially around Hinata. He was always lost in his head, but Asta is on a totally different level. He's got too many girls that are attracted to him. He legitly has his own. Harem. This exam arc by Yuki Tabata was an effective way to develop certain relationships or characters before we headed off to the much more major arcs in the future. And so he did this by including a three man group team during this tournament. You can obviously recognize Tabata was inspired by the tune in exam because it's uncanny that he chose a three man squad, but then again, it could have been just a coincidence. Now, Asta was paired up with Mimosa and Zora in this tournament, creating a powerful team if you ask me. Mimosa was yet again phased and beyond nervous to be in the same team as Asta, finally being able to prove her worth to him as she promised she'd become a fit enough member to fight alongside him. Anyways, Mimosa's free spirit is what prevented the friction between Asta and Zora, who Zora at that time went with the name Zax. And through this friction, Mimosa then says he looks cute even when he's frustrated in chapter 113. As Asta is fuming at Zora for his discourteous methods. Mimosa's way of reacting to Asta and Zora's little feud showed us how obsessed she was with Asta. Her smiling face to whatever Asta was doing went to show that she was having the time of her life, even when the situation was getting worse. As long as she can admire Asta, nothing around her really mattered. And coming back to the point that Black Clover runs is parallel with Naruto, coincidentally or inspirationally, either way, we were shown that in this chapter, Mimosa's character has. Strange similarities to Hinata. Think about it. Because of Naruto growing in strength, Hinata also believed that she must grow stronger alongside him. Naruto was Hinata's inspiration. Just like that, this chapter represented that Mimosa found inspiration with Asta in mind, and she wants to grow much more powerful as a magic knight because of him. Asta even admits that Mimosa has become very capable, which obviously shows that this came into effect. Now, with the introduction of Mimosa's brother in chapter 115, you can easily say that Yuki Tabata. 
isn't messing around here. My man is trying to get them married off immediately. This is some Lannister shit going on. Okay, jokes aside, the relationship between Mimosa and her brother is quite odd though, as he would love her to death, but she's just embarrassed, which makes sense, because he boasts about his own beauty. Chris Shubramillion's impression on Asta was pretty harsh if you ask me. He literally got flamed to another level. I mean, like he didn't hold back when it came to judging on Asta, but that makes Asta and Mimosa's potential love affair even more interesting, which her older brother figure tried to prevent this relationship from happening. Mimosa then coming to terms with her brother once Asta defeats him. The strange yet connecting relationship that Asta and Mimosa have is a replica to Naruto and Hinata. I believe that was what Yuki Tabata was aiming for, but with a little twist adding Noel in the mix and a bunch of other girls. But hey, I might be wrong, alright? It might be nothing to do with Naruto and Hinata, Asta and Mimosa might have their own thing going on. Anyway guys, this ship between Asta and Mimosa is still in its early stages without any solid evidence of Asta having any emotional connection to Mimosa. His eyes are still fully set on Sister Lily, we even explained this in our other previous videos explaining Asta and Sister Lily's relationship in Black Clover. As always guys, let us know who you want us to cover next or if we should make a part 2 to Asta and Mimosa's blatant yet discreet love affair. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and follow us on our social media platforms. With that, I'll see you guys till next time.